They got 46 naloxone kits here in Ashtabula, and they're not the first county to distribute them for free. But since time and time again, police and even the sheriff here have told me naloxone just isn't the answer. I'm asking why do communities keep treating it like it's a solution? This is naloxone. It's the antidote for heroin. And it doesn't come cheap. The Narcan is fairly expensive. Running between $70 and $170 at the pharmacy. But 46 people will get it for free here in Ashtabula today, thanks to the state. One kit uh, to take home with them after they've received instruction on how to use it. Free Narcan, is it an answer to this problem? Uh, not by itself. Right across the street, Ashtabula County's sheriff told me no. Handing it out free uh, and, and allowing them, uh, for an example, to know that they can get this and, and brother, that's, I don't believe, is the answer. Telling me. We have drug overdoses and, and drug use and drug problems, drug sales, every single day, every single shift. Oftentimes, first responders are called to the same people needing this same antidote several times a week. I'm not so sure that um, it's working if people are repeat offenders. Explaining communities may treat this stuff like a holy grail because when it comes to funding, this is one of the only options. The state is handing out these free Narcan kits, but every time I talk to law enforcement, they say the answer is education and detox centers. It's true. And, and That's a I, more expensive option? Well, I, I mean, um, d even to try to get somebody into an institution, uh, you, have, you have to almost recite war and peace because of the cost. I reached out to the Ohio Department of Health about this to see what the state's breakdown of funding is related to the heroin epidemic. I still haven't heard back, but as soon as I do, that information will be up on our website. Reporting in Ashtabula, Tara Molina, News 5.